What's up everyone? Today we're going to be painting Kylo Ren and we're going to go from dark to light. Alright, before we get started, I want to give a spoiler warning for Star Wars Rise of Skywalker because this is a spoiler for that. Anyways, I love the fact that they did the redemption arc for Kylo Ren. It was the best thing in Star Wars that I've seen since the episode six so yeah uh but we did kylo in monochrome so we're going to go over some tips and stuff on how that is done all right everyone i wanted to give you a few tips on doing monochrome paintings so the first tip i have is don't worry about what color you want to choose. You can use black and white and gray. That's monochrome. Because all of those different shades of gray are different values of black. It works the same for any other color. Now, some people say that you can't use black or white whenever you're doing monochrome paintings with a color like blue, as I'm using now. I think that's wrong. I think that if you add black, it makes it pop a ton more. Now, there's different ways to achieve this. You can just use a black marker or a black Pentel brush pen, which is what I use later on. Or you can mix your own black, which I also did. But I mixed my black on more of the blue side, so it would fit well with the painting. Another tip for doing these is just pay attention to your values. If you have too many values, it will muddy up the painting and it won't look as good as you want it to be. I try to stick to four or five, but uh, as you can see in this painting here, it is a little bit more than that, but that's okay. It worked out for me it's probably going to work out for you. Another tip that I had for doing monochrome paintings is don't worry about getting outside the lines. You're just going to fill that in with the same color anyways. Uh, it might be a different value, but with watercolors, we're working from light to dark which is the exact opposite of what I said in the intro of this video, but that was more of a meta metaphor for <laughs> Kylo Ren being redeemed. Anyways, now that we're back on track, another tip that I have for monochrome painting is just go with the flow. If you find yourself stuck on a certain part of the painting, try putting the lightest value down first on top of what you have if that doesn't work go to the next one if that doesn't work go to the next one just keep going down your values until you hit the darkness value that you need uh, don't don't be afraid to experiment and practice this type of thing whenever you're painting not monochromatic um, it all of these these values and painting monochrome is um, it's a good way to help you color pick because you see the color as a value rather than a color. So whenever you're looking at those uh, colors, say so you have a, a red, a blue, and a yellow, the yellow, depending on how saturated it is, is going to be a light value. And the blue is going to be your mid-tone value, and the red is going to be your dark value. Depending on how saturated all of the, the paint or marker or whatever you're using is. Well, I'm going to let this video go to the end, and I hope you guys enjoy.
thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications every time I post a video. I also want to remind you guys that I do have prints up for pre-order, and the link is in the description for my store. Well, as always, I'm Brandon, and I'll see you next time.